All right, here is the fun part. This is what distinguishes it from Excel. This is what takes it from Excel and a spreadsheet tool to business intelligence. Are you ready for it? Okay, you better sit down for this. All right, let's do it. So we're going to build what's called a dashboard, right? And a dashboard is really, it's a collection of sheets, right? We've built lots of sheets. We want to put it into a single view now, right? So here's how we do it. This middle button, right, out of the three, okay, you see three buttons. The first one is new sheet. The second one is new dashboard. And the last one is new story, which we'll get to much, much later, right? I'm going to click this second one, okay? Now, as you can see, this symbol looks different. You've got now this little uh, two by two square, and you'll see the sheets that we've created. And what we can do is we can drag and drop these sheets to build our dashboard, right? And I'm going to just make the height a little bit less, right? Just so we can see it. So that's the border there. Okay, and I can bring these in however I like, and it's going to tile so that it looks nice. And what I mean by tile is like, the first one's gonna take up the whole thing. The second one, see, depending on where my mouse is, I can actually have it, you know, where I want it. Uh, a common mistake people make is they put it under here. So don't put it in this blue section. This is like where all your legends are and your filters. So just make sure it's not in there and you're just putting it kind of here. So I'm just gonna put things in and around, you can always change it, right? So we got that. I'm probably gonna bring this one over here. Uh, where is it? Uh, no. And it doesn't matter if like you kind of mess it up a bit; it will keep just doing what it does, right? So let's bring this here. So now we got the Finland. We've got that, and we don't need these ones here. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. So if I click here on the bottom, get rid of this. You can always bring it back, but we're not gonna go through that at the moment. Right, so we now got all our graphics. Granted, we need to do some formatting, which we'll get to later. Right now, if I come here, right, and also if you minimize this, right, if it disappears by accident, just click this little button, right, because I know a lot of people freak out when they do that, right. So if you do that, you now have your dashboard. Now it's a dashboard like any other. Sure, why couldn't you do this in Excel? Well, this is what you can't do in Excel. If you click on one of them. Right, see how it's all act it's activated now. You got a border around it, and you click this button right here. This is the use as filter button. Okay, and the, and this is what it does. When it's off, and I click this, nothing happens. Right, see nothing happens. If I activate it and I click France, watch. Everything changed. If I look at Germany, everything changed. Right. So what this allows me to do is dive into my data. So if I go Italy, right? Italy made just over a hundred thousand in office supplies. They had a massive spike, right? They're spending fifty percent on consumer, right? Their moving average is kind of smooth, but they have a massive spike here. Or what about the US? Let's check out the US. But you can do this on multiple sheets. So let's go ahead and activate all of them. All right? Let's get nuts. Let's get nuts. Right, as J Lo says. Okay, so now I can do a deep dive. So if I click on United States, right, I can go, wow, they're doing a lot on technology. But what's going on with furniture? Let's have a look at furniture. And it's gonna keep filtering, right? And I go, wow, look at their sales. What happened at this point? So if I click that one, even that one will filter, right? And this is where now you can just be as creative as you want. Also to deselect it, I'm just clicking again, right? Um this is where you can be as as creative as you want in terms of interactiveness, okay? And if you really want to see the craziest things when it comes to this, to kind of open your mind of what you can really accomplish, there's two things. There's, um, well, there's like really three. There's this thing called Iron Viz, okay? Where the best, dev like, designers and developers on the planet come together. It's sort of like Iron Chef, if you've ever watched that. And they design the most amazing Amazing that I have no idea how they do it. They do it in like 20 minutes. It's insane. There's that. You also have Tableau Public. Okay, so you can go there. Um, what was the other one? Iron Viz Tableau. Oh, I, I make over Monday, which I think is from the UK, right? So we do that one. All right. So Tableau Public is where a lot of people publish. Where is this? Oh, gallery here, right? Is where a lot of people publish their dashboards, and you can check it out. And there's so many creative things that do. Like this is all done in Tableau right? That's nuts. That's crazy. 
I can't do a lot of this stuff. It just blows my mind. But it, it, that's not the point. The point is to get ideas from people and share and, you know, be involved and talk to these people and get in touch with them. Go, how did you do that? You know, that's the most exciting thing about Tableau in that it's such an open community. Right? Oh, look at this. This is seating arrangements. Oh, no, is it seating? I don't know what it is. Crazy. Right? So you can do that. Then Makeover Monday is another thing, right? Makeover Monday is, I think it's like every Monday or every something in the month, right? They release a data set. And um, then you can see, like, how different people will interpret the same data, right? So if I go gallery, let's have a look at some of the stuff they built, right? Let's see. Week 29. I think it's just rendering still, All right? And it's still going. Yeah, it's a lot of graphics. There we go, All right? So you can see that these are like the same data sets, but look how they're representing it. They're putting graphics, right? And this is all based off what you just learned. It's all the same stuff. It's just a little bit of more of creative stuff that they've added in there, a little of tweaks here and there. So the gap between you and these people isn't as big as you think right it's you're, it's probably only like a month away it's incredible the things you can do with just these basics right so you have basically now done your first dashboard congratulations go out have a kebab mcdonald's you know classic angus with some nuggets or something like that you want to go burger king get a bacon deluxe whatever it is you want to spoil yourself get it because you just built your first dashboard baby